Hello everyone and very welcome to the channel. In this video, I am going to show you a very interesting tool which I think could become a big thing going forward and you might see it getting used in various tools out there. This new tool, transformer.js.py, is a sort of a wrapper which enables you to run your Transformers library in a browser just by using familiar Python code. This transformer.js.py you can use on uh, Pyodite and Pyodite based frameworks such as Jupyter Lite, Streamlit, Shiny Live, PyScript, HollowWiz Panel, and so on and so forth. If you don't know what Pyodite is, Pyodite is an open source project that allows running Python code in web browsers and Node.js environments. The way it works is that it compiles Python code into WebAssembly or WASM enabling seamless integration of Python with JavaScript and HTML. So primarily it is Python in your browser where it uh, Pyodite converts Python code into WASM for efficient execution. It also gives you JavaScript interoperability where you can easily call Python functions from JavaScript, HTML and vice versa and I will also show you in the hands-on demo shortly. So if you have ever used Jupyter Lite or stuff like that, that is simple Python running in your browser and they are using this Pyodite. So coming back to this software, as I mentioned that um, the original transformer that it cannot be used in browser environment. So transformer.js, which is a JavaScript version of transformers that can be installed on browsers, but we cannot use it from Pyodite. So this transformer.js.py is a wrapper of transformer.js to proxy its API calls to Pyodite. So this is all there is to it. Now, before I show you the installation and see, I show you how it works. Let me give a huge shout out to Best Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPUs. This is a Ubuntu system which I'm using. You can use it on Windows or wherever you can run HTML, that sort of stuff. So Mac, Windows, doesn't matter. And this is my GPU card, NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM, but you can even run it on CPU or a decent commodity GPU if you have the model. Uh, already downloaded. So let me clear the screen. Let's create a virtual environment so that we could just keep everything in there. I'm just calling it TJS. Let's wait for it to get created and activate it. Shouldn't take too long. Okay, so that is activated. Now let's install this transformer dash js dash py with simply pip. And it was very quick. You know uh, how easy it is. It's simply a lightweight thin wrapper. Okay, next up, let me launch a Jupyter Notebook so that it will be running in the browser and then we will run it. So let's first install it and then it is going to launch it in the browser. Let's wait for it. And this is my notebook. So let me paste the commands here. So you don't need to install it again. And then all it is doing, it is loading the Transformers library. It is doing the sentiment analysis on this text. So it should be positive or negative. So let's see what sort of result it returns. Let me run it and I will let it run. So it is quite quick. And there you go. You can see that it is working asynchronously. All it is doing, it is just importing that transformer JSPy, and then it is initializing it asynchronously. It is initializing the transformers pipeline and then it is Doing the sentiment analysis, of course, you can do other operations here if you like. You can even use embedding uh, models. And then from here, we are just getting the response around this and then printing it out. You can do sentence completion. You can do um, all sort of other stuff which you can do with the Transformers pipeline. And you can see that the output label is positive here. And then uh, you can simply maybe you can check. I don't like. Uh, to brag so let's see what sort of again it's a positive because not bragging is a good thing i don't like bagpipes it's a negative one 
in winter so it's just a nonsensical one still <laughs> okay and then you can just say i don't like winters so still it's positive it doesn't matter so so you see that how easy it is to use this in any of the notebook uh, in familiar transformers library now how you can use it in your browser that is a question right so for that let me show you a streamlit example and for the streamlit one again it's a similar code where we are just doing streamlit as st and if you haven't already installed it on your local system simply do pip install streamlit i already have done it so i'm not going to do it again and then just simply do import streamlit again same transformer underscore js underscore pi and then we are just giving it a title from there input some text and the text is i love transformers you can of course input it from there and then we are just using the spinner to launch it and then it will be launched in our browser so let me run it in the terminal and then it is going to launch it in the browser let me and there you go you can see that it has launched it in our browser so this is our code which we are using and then you can even change it here or you can go here and then from here you can see that it is showing positive for i love transformers in this text box it is also giving us a score that how much certain it is so for instance if you say i hate it so you see it now the sentiment is negative and score is very high and then you can just play around with it like sometime i like it and sometimes i don't there you go so it's still negative so of course this is just sentiment analysis you can do the completion you can do a lot of other stuff as i mentioned earlier but the point is that it is running in the browser the transformers library and once you get it working the sky is the limit you can use any model and you can use it for various use cases and if you're wondering how to embed it in your html the, this is a sample code it is also present in their github repo and i will drop the link to it in video's description so you see it's a simple html headers and then body and in the body in the py script you are simply uh, using the same code which i just showed you above and you are just closing the body and head this is how simple it is to embed it in any website or page so if you think about it now you can very easily use transformers library to access smaller model of course and then display the output uh, in your biodite and any other web framework which it supports of course so amazing stuff i think real uh, impressive very early days i think there are few crises here and there but i'm more than sure it is going to evolve a lot i have very big hopes for this project so that's it i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching